The sign stands out in this quiet residential neighborhood in Northwest Decatur. Wild Dreams Taxidermy is tucked away neatly in this newly built garage. Inside are some of the mounts done by Wesley Brown, a change of career after he suffered injuries as an iron worker. Hurt my back, uh, iron working, and, and uh, had some knee problems, and, and uh, was able to have time to be able to go to school to uh, learn. That's kind of why I named it Wild Dreams Taxidermy, because it's kind of happening in my wildest dreams. For Wes, his first mount was one of his own deer he took down near Oakley. Brown prides himself on the quality of his mounts done with the tools in his garage. Uh, that's my uh, fleshing table there, and, and I've got a, a fleshing wheel that I flesh deer hides and any capes of, you know, boar or elk. Of course, my sink, I do all that, and then got over here, I got my, my bird flesher and then my uh, air paint station for my uh, airbrushing that I do all my painting. He admits people have misconceptions about this trade. I think the misconception of people think that it's really gross and dirty, but as you can tell, you know, there's no smell, there's, it's, it's clean. Men are wanting to take these animals to a taxidermist and the women are going, ah, you know, it's really gross, but it's not. From deer to birds, even fish, Wes is ready to give lasting memories to hang around for many years.